I'm here live tonight with my man 45 King. We are here in New York City. What's wrong? We're here celebrating the new release of the upcoming Jay-Z album, among others. We got Jay-Z, we got my man uh, right here, Jay-Z's partner in the house. We got Fox 5 News in the house. We always want to give respect to the industry, the people doing things, doing big things. I'm glad to be here with my man 45 King. We're celebrating his birthday on Sunday. That's right, 55. Look at five, five, five. This man has put out more hip hop albums from the original crew, from the beginning of the music scene, from the 1980s and onward. He's here as an honor guest tonight. We got five Fox 5 News on set right here. Jay Z's in the building. So, you know, ultimately what we're doing right now is just we're celebrating and we're honoring my man 45. He's coming out with a big movie. So, anyone in Hollywood, you're on notice because we're coming. You know, we're coming out there to do some filming. Queen Latifah's involved. And of course, my man 45 King right here. Yeah, look, ultimately tonight, it's really not about us. You know, we're doing, we're celebrating. Jay-Z's success, his partner's right here doing an interview. I'm trying to remain, uh, you know, humble, but at the same time, I want to give a shout out to uh, everybody watching and uh, take a look. A lot of, lot of beautiful people here celebrating the music business. And just so you know, yeah, I go. Here I am. let me turn it around. They're sick of looking at me. With some of the some of the legends on the board here. I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm right here. There he is right there. There. Right there. There he is right here. When I was young, when I was young. When you were younger, when you were younger. D and D is actually putting this one on tonight. You know, they're the big timers. Dave McGuff, Dave McGuff. Dave and Doug, right here. The capital D and the smaller case D. Legends, legends in the, right. in the business, legends. Probably one of, if not the most famous recording studios in the, in the city. Certainly in this genre, KRS-One. You know, all these people are here tonight paying homage. Three more should be here in a minute, right? Now, for those who don't know, Primo is Primo is in the building somewhere. He's here. Uh, Primo is DJ Premier from Gangstar. For all you hip hop fans out there like me, I just was playing Gangstar on the way in. We grew up on that. You ever do uh, any recording with uh, with Primo? Um, actually, not with Primo. No. No. But uh, with um, with Google, yeah. This first, uh, I, I did his first record. Okay. Or not his first record. The one that got played on the radio. Okay. Who else did you work with in uh, that that D and D and you have in common? I did a Queen Latifah um set it off um soundtrack. The song I did for set it off I did a D and D. The um, name calling for Latifah. Okay. Like a long time ago. Okay. All right. So again, Fox News just concluding here. I don't know if they went live or not, but I certainly don't want to interrupt another broadcast here we're just trying to kind of tuck ourselves into the corner and enjoy the evening we want to be respectful to people doing their thing man this is a big industry it started you know street art form that's where a lot of the art starts you know in the street so ultimately for the money is made the true artists like my man right here 45 a lot of people you know ask me you know why did i become a lawyer this is it right here to support people that really that uplift people that help others. You know, he's made more careers than anybody in this game. You know, as you can see behind me, behind me right now, we got we got you know a bunch of professional athletes and, and, and who's who and hip hop moguls. You know, I'm not a bugaboo, but you know, I'm glad to be here. And frankly, these stars on the wall here and, and who's out really who's out right behind me. I'm not a name dropper, but ultimately we got a who's who out here. Um, hey, anybody who who's actually around the neighborhood, you know, 
45 King and I are here. If you text me, I can get you in. The line's around the block. As you can see, there's a lot of media here, so they're trying to keep it kind of light. But, you know, D&D &D recording, probably the main reason why. So good, they're stopping filming here. So now I can kind of show you around a little bit. I don't want to interrupt. But we're about to put some on. So anyways, 45 is about to put something on. We're here to participate and witness, you know, the birth of an industry from 30 years ago to, you know, a $10 billion business that it is today around the world. Um, a lot of people obviously have contributed to that, but I'm just glad to be a part of it. You know, we all grew up in, in New York, New Jersey, but really everywhere. It's part of the world culture now. So just glad to be a part of it tonight. We're celebrating. Um, 45, any other uh, parting words or you want to say goodbye? Shout out to Eric Weintraub. Eric, if you're out there. Eric Weintraub. Eric is our dear mutual friend. We love you. We're from the YMCA together. And so we just want to give you a shout out, Eric. Always, always. I know you're not out there on Facebook a lot, but you're always in our heart. And tonight... I, I might I might go out there and, and show y'all who, who we mingle with, but I mean you can just guess. I mean look, we got KRS One here. We got we got Primo, otherwise known as Guru the Damager, J Ru, Gangstar. You know, but you, you can just guess who's here, man. You know what's up. So, not everybody's with us. So you know, around this time of the year, you want to be thankful for what you have. You know, Halloween is the opening of the door to a new year, Thanksgiving, Christmas, and a new year. So remember one thing, we all make mistakes out here. There's a new slate every day. The only mistake that's not forgivable is the one you don't learn from. We've all made mistakes. And let me tell you something. I'm here tonight, not to not to glom on to, to these stars out here, but you know what? To show support and love. And that's what it's all about. You know, we actually have a couple of R&B legends who just came in the door and represent the New York New York Giants. Mariah Carey's out front. But um, anyways. That's Mariah. Yeah, let me show. Now we got Biggie right in front of me. I'm chilling with 45 King and Biggie. That's that's No, but I'm saying that Biggie Jay-Z's partner that's right here. Not Biggie Smalls. Let me distinguish, not Biggie Smalls. <laughs> I had to correct my friend right here, but no, Biggie is Jay-Z's partner currently. So don't want you to think I'm talking about Biggie Smalls. No. I'm talking about Biggie Jay Jay-Z, the one and only. And just so you, just so you know, my man right here. Tell, tell the world what you did with Jay-Z. Um, I did a few tracks with Jay-Z. Um, a St. Ives commercial. Uh, a, a few, uh, two tracks with Jazzo. Um, and um, I did Hard Knock Life with Jay-Z. Hard Knock Life. Was that platinum? Huh? Was, that, was Hard Knock Life platinum? I think I went, that did the thing. It did, yeah. It's still selling. Yeah. So at a St. Ives commercial, I don't know if you, you young bucks remember St. Ives, but it didn't taste that good, but it got you really messed up. So if you drank a couple of those, you're probably going to get in a street fight or get arrested or something. It's one of the reasons why I do not drink anymore. At 45, do you drink? Do you drink alcohol? At all? Not really, right? Not really. 
That's why we roll together, man. We strictly sober out here. China, I know y'all want to, uh, you know, see uh, for those hip hop fans, you know, Vanilla Ice and and and, and Gangstar Premier. But you know what? I'm not the type to bother people. I'm trying to, without kind of interrupting them, show y'all, you know, what the party's doing right here. But you know, ultimately, this is the kind of stuff we're, we're involved with now. You know, and the Wall of Fame right here. There he is. There he is, right there. Launched more careers than anybody. And I'm proud to call him a friend. These are the regulars here in this space. What, is that Red Man? Who's this fella here? Um, that's cool, cool out the Oh yeah, the Fat Boys. Another D&D great. They look good there, right? Yup, there he is. See, D&D recording out here. They're here also, of course. I'll post a picture because we just did a little, a little picture with Dave. Is it? It's Dave and Dave, right? Dave and Doug. Oh, uh, pardon me, Dave and Doug. Pardon me for that. Dave's the big fella. His, his father was a big time lawyer, but you know, certainly they hit it big with their recording. We got security. We got a line around the block. They're never gonna get in. Please go. Z's partner. We're gonna talk about billions over a billion, not a million. Do you go, you guys know how many million are in a billion? Not a hundred, a thousand. Over a billion dollars made right here. What's your name, sir? I'm Biggs, man. I'm Biggs. I'm the co-founder of Rockefeller Records. And, uh, you know, we started a great movement. And, you know, for this guy, Hard Knock Life and all the things he did, the St. Nods commercial, you know, I mean, this is a legend right here. People need to know who he is. Thank you for saying that. Now, and when did you, what year did you start Rockefeller? We started Rockefeller in 1996. That's the first year we dropped the album. But, you know, it was in existence probably two years before we were, you know, becoming an independent company. Now, I think y'all did a project together called It's Hard Knock Life, is that true? Yes, yeah. yeah. So uh, Jay and Dame heard him uh, playing that, that song on tour. Yeah, so they, when, you know, after that, they came to me, it was like, yo, we got this beat, it's about to be a hit. And when I heard it, I was like, oh, this is gonna be crazy. And wow. you know, we went in there, Jay knocked it out, and the lyrics, 
just, I mean, it just matched everything that was going on and stuff that we've been through. And it was probably, it probably wasn't the biggest record radio, but it was, it had the biggest imprint on Rockefeller of all time. That song. Damn. I didn't know that. Yeah. I, I really appreciate you taking time tonight. Tonight's a celebration. I think him taking the time of coming out. This is what I came out for, for stuff like this. Oh, thank you. You heard it right there. That's, I mean, Rockefeller, man, you don't have any bigger names than that. I mean, this is the kind of, this is the kind of industry, like genuine people in the industry that show love for the history of the, of the game and history of the art. You know, ultimately, you have a lot of people who really deeply respect one another with humility. No matter how big we get, man, God's going to take everything we have without a little bit of love for the history. And, and you know what? That's what gets shown with, at events like this. It's called loyalty, man. Learn from that. Never forget where you're from. Anytime. Man, it's an honor to meet you. All right. Thank you. So, you know, this is the kind of respect this man gets right here. You know, ultimately, that's why I roll with him because he helped everybody in their career. I'm talking from the bottom to the top. And he, and he, and he really. Hello, how are you? Can I take a picture with you? And that's Doug. Doug, right? You're the man, dog. I'm gonna take a picture of you while your wife gets a picture with 45. Legends in the game. Legends in the game. Hey Doug, any, anybody, anything you want to say to Facebook? I want to say that we're celebrating 20th year anniversary with Jay-Z, with the, the Candy Studios built in it, pop-up shop, coming to Detroit, coming to Miami, 45 King, one and only, Hudson, D&D, That's the one and only D&D, &D. that's Doug from D&D Records right here. All this stuff, man. See, all these people were connected. It's a small world, it's a big, lovely world out here, but it's amazing, through all these decades, all the money that's been made, all the things that have happened, all the people that have been lost, it really is a community of love and art. And you see a lot of successful people, but you know what? You see a lot of ordinary people too, dressed up, honoring, honoring people, and that's what these real stars are about. They don't have you know, bodyguards around them. These guys, premieres out here, mingling with, with regular people. And you know what? D&D &D Records turned guys like this, I don't know if you remember them, before he had his little... I'll be right back. I'm gonna get okay, buddy. Okay, buddy. This is our stuff. I'll watch it. I'll watch it. That's Dan. Hey, Dan, you, do you have any words of wisdom for my Facebook? Well said. D&D, and 2017 soon, right? Awesome. Very, very nice guys right here. Legends in the game, very supportive, loving men who are, frankly, the most humble, down-to-earth guys you want to know. Deserve every bit of success they've had always take care of their people us i mean the love they show 45 man all right i'm gonna be quiet
Productions. So, the host here, they're, we're trying to do interviews here. Fox is here and, and some other major, like, national and local news. But we certainly don't want, a lot of people have kind of snuck past security. There's, like, there's probably a line, like, two blocks down. But because of this guy, and by the way, 2017, I want you to recognize something. Hey, 45, tell them about what we're talking about with the Mallard Entertainment. We're going to try to shoot a few different things from Mallard Entertainment coming out hopefully with some luck. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, the Mallard duck is a beautiful, colorful duck. It has green and brown and black and red. And the mallard is the an international symbol of wildlife and, and all of, you know, God's splendor and just a beautiful bird. And so, a lot like this man right here, very colorful with his music, we're going to honor that tradition and we're doing, shit, we're doing a movie. Um, we're doing, we're shooting a movie, we're, we're talking to some people right now, but, you know, we're also always doing our, our show. For those of you who don't know, we do like a broadcast on YouTube from East Orange, Essex County. We do a broadcast from East Orange. Right now we're in Tribeca supporting um, you know, Rockefeller Records tonight um, and D&D &D Recording, who by the way has worked on tons of projects with 45 King and they're terrific guys. They're doing another interview, so certainly don't want to interrupt. So, anyways, apparently there was some skirmish out here. Somebody had to get thrown out, but you know what it is. I'll just let them drink, whatever. Ha <laughs> ha! 
This is the 45 right. King. I, I know that. The 45 King. So what is exactly the 45 King name? Oh, uh, I'm sorry. Say that one more time. What exactly is the 45 King name? Because uh, you're not the 78 King. Well, you know, back in the day, I used to know how to mix 45 King. I'm a big rapper. And that was, I came up with that name like 90, uh, 84. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Okay. Last question. When you first heard Reasonable Doubt, did you know it would be all this? Like, could you tell, like, uh, this well, is something big? No, I, I actually, I, I'm the I don't really know. I know. I know. Can I get this is the kind of attention okay. that the 45 deserves. Gotcha. How about Hard Knock Life? Can you watch on that? Sure, I know that. Yeah. Two Grammys. Well deserved. Three time platinum artist. I'm sorry, darling, can I ask you a quick question? Yes. Um, is this local or is this? This is local, but it's also going to be national, but it's all going to be on tomorrow because everyone's so debate, debate, debate. Okay. That it's mañana. Awesome. And what is your name, darling? I'm Crystal, as in Swarovski, but actually my last name is Young, as in not old. Awesome. Yeah. Great job. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good night. All right. So, you ready to be on national news again? Yeah, you know they're going to cut my shit out, watch. Uh, they might. I don't know. The, those jokes you made were kind of funny, you know. Yeah, that's, you know, that's what I do. I don't know. I think you should maybe stick to music. No, maybe. <laughs> maybe. Sit right over to you. Like, Good man. You know they're going to cut my shit out. Look, they going to cut my shit out. I got to get a picture with this legend. He's so kind. Yeah, so hopefully we're going to use this, you know, this art form and take it to the next level. I mean, we're not really doing anything that hasn't been done. 45 was a pioneer, man. I'm just some tired old lawyer out here. But you know what I do have? I have an awesome team, and I was blessed to know, like, being from Montclair, it's called being diverse, man. It's real. And you know what? East Orange, you got to love East Orange. Not only did East Orange have the best weed when we were growing up, but it also has the best real estate now. For all those big time uh, moguls out there who don't know, we're going to change that city. It's going to be a shining star again. The, how, the prices are cheap. You know what? It's a lovely city, man. Essex County has some beauty out here. 
But you know, Mallard Entertainment, man, this is the kind of things we do. These are the kind of people we roll with. Remember, like the duck, quack, quack, not Aflac, Mallard. See, Mallard's classy, kind of like a pheasant. See, we're not trying to hunt no, uh, no fox, not that aristocratic movement. And pheasants, frankly, have become endangered. But Mallards, man, we're showcasing them, man. We ain't hunting them. So, back to the party. This is how we do it. We just kind of like stayed near the, the cutoff where the media is. And that's it. D&D &D Entertainment. I'm not trying to interrupt people. That's what makes me clever because it's really not about any one person. It's about the whole industry. Here, hold this for a minute. Narrate that shit. It's getting hot, right? It's getting very hot. It's getting hot here. Yeah. You know, it's funny, all these, all of these fancy cameras out here, and the iPhone 6 is performing live better than a lot of them. Tell them, the battery went dead on the, on the $3,000 camera. Yeah, it did. Don't front. Oh, uh, what have you did? Oh, it got hot? Uh, yeah, it went kaput, but the iPhone 6 is performing out here. It's going live, man. Who would have thought 20 years ago that you could sit up here at a party and uh, by the grace of God, 
And I always keep St. Christopher closed, but by the grace of God, I'm sitting out here broadcasting live right now. Rockefeller Records, d, &D recording. And the new one on the block, Mallard. That's us. And so we're gonna do something, hopefully make our make our mark. Lord knows Mark has made plenty of projects that have plenty of projects. What? I'm sorry? I love you a lot for winning me. Oh man, you know that. I'm glad we came. But you know what? I'm glad this technology can link, you know, to, to people that I know and love, that love you too, bud. It's amazing. Any words of wisdom? Any, any, uh, Sorry, my foot, my foot fell asleep. Oh, by the way, those are nice shoes. You got style, kid. I, I gotta tell you, you got style. Let me get this crap out of here. Is this your, you go? All right. I saw it. Thanks, though. Here, bud, hold that.
security's throwing a lot of people out. 2017's coming up, guys, so remember, when you make a mistake in life, believe me, I made a lot of them, just get back on the horse, keep riding, because, you know, they say that most people close their business right before they would have been successful. Most people stop looking right when they got the treasure map, and the treasure's about 10 feet away, and they give up. So remember, learn from your mistakes. The only thing I will ever fault somebody for is not learning from their mistakes. That's why I learned, you know, birds of a feather. Right now, I'm sober. I will not drink tonight. I will not smoke weed tonight. I will not have a cigarette tonight. But I will have a great time with my man right here, a true artist, a true man of the people right here. That's right. That's what Rockefeller Records, 45 King, Platinum Energy, Diamond energy, gold energy, positive energy begets positive energy. They can't throw up, they can't throw me out, because I'm with him. They, they need a lot of security to throw me out when I used to drink. <laughs> so what any uh, words of wisdom for 2017? When you go to a party, bring a chair, won't you? I had the business on the chair. I was in the back of the second. And it was like all the way up to the right hat. So you can flip right Oh, Roger. By the way, Roger, if you're listening to me, Roger Perenni, if you're around the block, because I know you work and live near here, come on by. Come on by, dude. We're at, what's the address here? I'm sorry? 447 what? West Broadway? 447 West Broadway. 7 West Broad. If you can make it, come on out, man. Rockefeller Records, DJ Premier, 45 King, Jay-Z, to name a few. Again, keep your eyes open for Mallard in 2017. Hopefully, we'll do something big. Make our mark. As you can see, the executive is having a seat, you know, as he should, as he should. The creator right here. Put more, more people on with their careers than anyone else since 1980, so. That's how we do it. Hey Mark, what, what year did you do your first when did the flavor unit first start doing stuff? Um, 86, 87. Okay. And who was in flavor unit, the original gang? Um, Lockham, Mark and Fresh, Latifa, Chirag G, Apache, Latifa. Rakim Shabazz. Rakim Shabazz. 
Latifa. Where's Apache now? Oh, he passed? What year? Oh, that's a good one. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. I'm sorry. I took it back. By the way, Mark, that girl said she wanted to give you a blowjob. That girl right there. Where? Okay. Behind you. Okay. You down with it? Yeah. All right, that's what's up. <laughs> Yeah, well, look. Yo, man. You don't gotta ask him twice. God made him that way. So don't blame him. That's how we do it. By the way, shout out to my beautiful wife at home, Chloe. Love you. See how sober I am, right? Yeah, I'm just a tired old lawyer now, but guess what? This is fun to me. I'm definitely enjoying it. Sobriety is the way to way to be. You don't get arrested when you don't drink. The gum that I the gum that I put on here. You know what they said? They cleaned this. It was so much weed. Yeah. Like, oh, is that like the original eight. soundboard? Yeah. yeah. Damn. A lot of plus we roll on this console right here. Oh, shit. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. Now, what's your name? My name is Luis Neo. One of the original engineers in D&D. Really? Yeah. What year did y'all start? Well, I started in 92. What yeah. artists came through on this board? Oh, man. Nas, Big. We had so many records back in those days, you know, we had so many people come through. I mean, you know, Daz Effects, uh, you know, so many, I can't, so many to remember. Who was the most, did anyone ever give you something hot? Like, who was, was anyone ever generous with their time or ever give you something or made an impression on you? I mean, there was, there was a lot, man. I, I learned a lot from Premier. You know, I was in the room with Premier a lot. I was assistant engineering at the time during, you know, 92. To like 98, you know what I mean? Uh, doing a lot of stuff with him. So I, I what, like, what'd you learn from him? Well, just, you know what I mean? Just like, I, I was young in the business, you know? So you, you learn a lot about relationships, you know okay. what I'm saying? That, what about how to roll a blunt? Oh, I, that was, you know, they was like, here, Lou, you know? <laughs> All that. <laughs> so yeah. Now yeah, could you yeah, engineer? Could you engineer a blunt back in the day or? Of course. Okay. Right. Several. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, I worked on Channel Live. Um, uh, blunt. You know what I'm saying? Okay. The Paris One Channel Live. Right? Oh wow. Come on, be a smoke, then I can't break it. Nice. That was, yeah, 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 yeah. Nice. I have a Channel Live on um, Astro. Can you do? Yeah. Damn, I don't even know. That's cool. You want to say any uh, words of wisdom for 2017? Keep it real. Keep it honest. You know? Music is all about, you know what I mean, the feeling. And it's not so mechanical. When, when we did this here, it was, you know what I'm saying, we had a different process, you know what I mean, of making records. Now some of it's a little lost with all the technology, but one thing that was always constant was the feeling for the record, you know, the love of the record, the energy that everybody brought in, you know, and in an environment like D&D where people used to kind of collaborate just by seeing each other in the halls, you know, it was, it, there was a lot of really great records because it was that energy, people coming together, you know, it wasn't just, let me send out my verse over here to some dude over there because he's giving me some dollars, it was people coming together, you know, to make records, you know. You know I like how you, I like how you brought up like the overall vibe, the, the culture, right? Yeah, absolutely. Nice. Now, were you a former b-boy? Are you, do you break dance and shit? No, 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 no. 
Nah, you just, just go with the computers and shit? Stuff, all right, you know all right. what I'm saying? Nah, nah. My, my thing was DJing. That's how I started. You know? Okay. That's what got me into the love of music and engineering. You ever work with this guy here? Yeah. Yeah. You don't remember me, but... I remember you, man. I don't remember you. There's Doug. Witnessing, this is a Rockefeller Records DMD music production, like party, but like this is like more like museum stuff. Like these are pieces that like show like the history of what it was, what it was. So you see the progression of what it was, you know, from from, from the gutter, you know, from from the prisons, from the from the. The, the ghettos to the recording studios to mass media. You know, who would have thought when they were using this that 30 or 40 years later I would be watching it live on Facebook and you could see this live. You know, you see this leather right here? Is that leather? Brown leather. Man. Old school. Man. Again, coming at you live with the 45 King here in Tribeca, Rockefeller Records tonight, celebrating a long, successful career at D&D recording. We got the man himself right here, Doug. Doug and Dan in the building. DJ Premier.
sure you enjoy. Question? Can I ask you a question on Facebook? Now, who would have thunk that all these years later you would be that you were using this equipment that I'd be able to real time broadcast you from my phone? Uh, I, I had a vision that the, that I someone was going to use this equipment once, and that's why I saved it. As far as streaming live, that's what put me out of business. Wow. And he's right. It's real out here. I'm gonna go get the truck. I'm gonna go get the truck and pull it in the front. I'm saying I'm gonna go get it and pull it to the front. All right. Pardon me. Pardon me. We met earlier, right? Yes, we did. I want to leave you with that. Oh, awesome. I'm in Jersey. Yes, let me get my phone. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I'm trying to do something with 45. We're, we got like a movie in the works. Um, it was an honor to meet you. You're very respectful. Awesome. Got my in the back. Awesome. I could tell. I could tell. Thanks, man.
Hey Dan, thanks for having me, bro. I appreciate it. Mark, sleeping with you? Yeah, I'm just gonna get the car, pull it in front. Thank you for your kindness, man. Wow, look at all this. Yeah, that might be the on set. As they should be. Honestly, I don't even think I can leave right now. It might not be the best time. Excuse me. Might not be the best time to leave right now. Well, it seems rather congested, and I can't physically unless I wanted to play, go back to my old football days, and start running motherfuckers over. Is it really that tight? Really well, try to walk, and you'll see. Looks like you got you got places to go. You're well dressed. God bless you. We're gonna try to make it into Really? Good for you. Yeah, sometimes God gives you a signal. <laughs> I don't want you leaving. Right, right. And you know what? I read the signs. That's a sign. It ain't meant to be right now. You know what I'm saying? How long are you trying to leave? Just briefly. not be a good time to exit because the boys in blue have sort of allowed people to there, should, there must be a thousand people and I don't want to lose my jacket because I, I, I like my jacket you know I got my blazer and my and my uh, Adidas so I can hear let me go get that shit real quick Honestly, yo, the cops is like cut off the motherfucking entrance. Shut it down. Shut it down. Ain't nobody coming in. Like people are like dribbling in, like one or two people at a time. But they're really not allowing anybody to come in. There must be a thousand people out front. If anybody like Roger, if you came or, or somebody like came to see us, just um text me. And I'll, I'll see what I can do, but look like the boys in blue uh, shut it down. But anyways. I'm gonna let it, I'm gonna let it 
die down before I had a like, job. Because you know what I was worried about? Like losing like my, my my beloved blazer and my beloved Adidas, my classic Adidas. You, can, you don't just find this on the street. No, man. You gotta find this shit on you eBay. Gotta, you gotta hold them down. Yeah. <laughs> So you know my style when I do this, it's really authentic because I'll do the, the jumper, but then I'll do the blazer over it. Just to just to show the devil I'm ready to give you another black eye. No, nah, but everyone here was amazing. But it looks like we're just breaking the fire codes or whatever. So really they're just worried that God forbid something was to happen. So there's a there's a strong police presence in front. And there's also a strong contingent of um there's a few New York Knicks here, some big fellas that are mad because they can't get in, but whatever. By the way, if you've liked any of this stuff tonight, or if you're taking a look at it, and you enjoy music, or if you're a fan, hit like. Don't be shy. Hit like, post a comment. I'm trying to get like a little grassroots, you know, love out here. You know, involving people. There's a lot of like really bright artists um, that, I, that I call friends, that I'm honored to call friends. My man Baldy, Hassan McGee, one of my most loyal friends. Um, and of course, 45 Kings, Samad, we got to get you out here, man. Samad, 45 King, like y'all need, y'all need a little Rockefeller love out here. All right, we got to make this happen. Mallard Entertainment. That's why we're just going to have to do it ourselves. That's, you know, they always say, if you want something done, do it yourself. I'm not pointing people out, but y'all know who you're looking at.
Can I help with anything? Yeah, you can get some people out. <laughs> That's a bit, all right. Yo, take this. I represent 45 now. All right. Come, hit me up. I'll definitely hit you up. Thanks all right. for coming. All right. Let's go, bud. Let's go. Let's let's help him out by getting out the. the, 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 the let's yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Why don't you start? Have a good night. Good night. Thanks, guys. Man, right, you too. Pardon me. Oh, which way? Which way? Which way? Oh Lord! Where's the exit? They're saying like this is fenced off right here. Where are we? How are we getting out, dog? They're saying like the. How do we get out? This way. You wanna get out? Yeah. That's all. Right here. Excuse me. Watch your feet, please. I don't want to hit anyone. Got you. It's a 45 good? King right here. Thank you, man. You had to do that, man. Thank you, sir. You good, Mark? Come on. Take care, guys. I can't be mad at him for wanting to go in there. I mean, that's, you know, and the cops got to really police that because. Everyone's trying to get in at the same time, and we got fire codes and shit. So anyways, we're out of the party. You gonna roll that shit? Yeah. Here we go, we rolling, literally. Let's get on the walk, bro. NYPD shut it down, so we on the move. Little Broadway, live from Broadway. Any words of wisdom, my friend? Hey. You shop a sign, no, no trucks. He don't care. Live from Broadway. Let me tell you, there's a lot of good looking people out here living a good life. Man, this is not the New York City of 30 years ago, I'll tell you that. Everyone here has money. Every building is beautiful. There is like virtually no spray paint. There's just a big ass limo that just went by. I mean, this is Soho. There's just nothing but hipsters and wealth. Yeah. Keep coming. I got you, buddy. I had to park a block away. They wouldn't let me park in the garage. Everybody that knows me knows I drive a truck. GMC 1500 series. That's my baby. And no, I don't get all the tricks and the, and the, you know, the gadgets. I straight up get a straight stock tradesman model without carpets. So like, this is what I'm talking about right here. You walk down the street here in Broadway. Look at the good life that these cats are living. And then you have this. I, I got you on the way in, man. You have a blessed evening, though. You got a little, little Bentley here. I think that's, oh no, pardon me, that's a Rolls Royce. That's a nice car right here. Look at this fancy water I got, by the way. Just water. How about that? I never seen that before. This is a nice car, though. This is New York City today. 
this is Broadway. Look at that, like rent a bike. Look at that. And here's my baby. This is my baby right here. This is it, buddy. This is a hero. It's a hero in the snow, too, let me tell you. This, this truck could ride over anything. And there's not a scratch on her. So, look at this, look at this place. Some nice. Nice like windows and stuff going on around here. Any words of wisdom? Guess not. So we're here on West Broadway. About to uh, start our journey back to New Jersey. For all of you Montclair people out here that have tuned in, we know this, right? They were actually throwing this away. They were throwing this away. So how about that? With the iron, uh, you can't see it because of the lack of contrast, but I'm gonna restore that and do something with it. You know my background, you know that. A lawyer for uh, nearly 15 years now and contractor for most of my life. So I hate to see things go to waste. These young kids waste everything. Yeah, New York City has changed, man. There's no crime out here. This feels like LA. You know, when I was coming up, this place is New York, man. This is like, like a wonderful neighborhood. It really is, I mean. So, anyways, I think that's about it. As far as the broadcast, so we're signing out. I'm just gonna say goodnight. Good night. Love you. All right. Any any parting words, bud? Everybody get home safe. Yeah. Sleep well, everybody. Love to you all. Make sure you tell your, your loved one you love them. Don't wait for tomorrow. Always do it tonight. Never go to bed angry. And keep the faith. All right. Signing off. Bye, everybody. Love you. Love you, man. Guys, ladies. <laughs>